In this session, our aim is staining of nucleic acid by acetocarbene. All living organisms are composed of cells. Cell is a structural and functional unit of life. In plants, cells have an outermost rigid cell wall beneath which is a cell membrane. The cell membrane encloses cytoplasm, cell organelles and a nucleus. The nucleus contains DNA, RNA and proteins. Acetocarmine stain is a DNA specific stain generally used to stain supercoiled chromosomes. The objectives of this session are to demonstrate the staining of nucleic acid with acetocarmine, to understand why acetocarmine is used and to observe the morphology of onion leaf cell. Let us study staining of nucleic acid by acetocarmine. The materials required are onion bulb, 2 to 4 percent acetocarmine or acetoorcine stain, slide cover slip, brush, needle, forceps, knife, blotting paper, spirit lamp, matchbox and compound microscope. All living organisms are made up of cells. The shape, size and the number of these units vary in organisms. The three major components of a cell are the cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. In a plant cell, a cell wall surrounds the cell membrane. Acetocarmine is a DNA specific stain. It is 2 percent solution of carmine and 45 percent of acetic acid which is used for staining the chromosomes within the nucleus of a cell. It imparts red color to the nucleus. Carefully peel off epidermis from the fleshy leaf of onion bulb and put it on a slide. We have to put a few drops of water to avoid desiccation of this material. Now with the help of the blade we are going to cut it into a proper shape which can be a square or a rectangle. Now we are going to remove the extra material, actually we have to discard this material once we have cut it into a proper shape. Now we have to use the stain which is acetocarmine. So what we are going to do is we will put two drops of this acetocarmine stain onto this peel. So, this was the acetocarmine stain. Now, we are going to heat this slide over the flame of a spirit lamp gently. So, then I should remove the gloves. So, uh, this is the spirit lamp. So, we have to be very, very careful while using this. So, we are going to heat this over the flame of the spirit lamp, but here the precaution is that overheating should be avoided. So, what we will do is in between we are going to touch it here. So, it should not hurt you that is why I said that heating should be gentle. So, that is okay. So, now we are going to lower down our cover slip very, very carefully and slowly with the help of the needle. So, 
So, I will wear the gloves again. And uh, I am going to remove the excess of the stain with the help of the blotting paper. So, uh, this is done. Now, examine the slide first under the low power of the microscope and then under the high power. Now, we are going to take the following observations. First, a large number of rectangular cells are seen under microscope which appear pinkish red in color. The cells lie close to each other with no intercellular spaces between them. These cells are surrounded by distinct cell walls. A darkly stained nucleus was observed in the center of the cell. Actually, this acetocarmine is a specific nuclear stain which reacts with chromosomes to give them color. Nuclei in cells are extremely rich in nucleic acid which exists in a conjugated form with protein to form nucleoprotein structures called chromatin fibers or chromosomes. Now try to answer these questions. What are the different types of nucleic acids? Differentiate between the two. Second, what are the building blocks of the nucleic acid? This practical exercise will help you to achieve following learning outcomes. Applies scientific terminology for parts of cell and stains. Makes label diagrams of stain cells showing nuclei. Uses scientific symbols for nucleic acids that is DNA and RNA. Demonstrates skills in using apparatus and instruments used to prepare onion peels, staining and preparation of slide and communicates the findings and conclusions of staining of onion peel cells effectively. Thank you. <music>